Let's walk through the creating an inbound shipment ASN process. First, you'll begin by logging into your SmartFill account. Next, near the top, you'll go to the Administration tab and click. On the left-hand side, you'll see a header that reads Inbound Shipment Management. And underneath of that, you'll select Create Inbound Shipment. This will load the page to create the ASN on the right-hand side. You'll begin by selecting the warehouse that you're going to send the inventory to. Next, you'll input the carrier that you're using to send us the product. UPS, FedEx, LTL. Formatting here isn't critical. Next, you'll enter the tracking or PO number. And then you'll tell us the expected date. You can input the date directly, or you can choose from the pop-up calendar. Don't worry if you don't know the exact date just yet. You can come back later and update all of this information. There's also a section that you can add any comments that you'd like to share with us regarding your shipment. And finally, you'll select the Create Shipment button. You'll notice the information that you input on the previous page is now displayed exactly as you entered it. Next, you'll tell us the total number of boxes that you're sending. This would also include pallets. Here, there are two methods you can share this data with us. The first is probably the easiest if you have a large number of items. We've created a box upload template for you to download using Microsoft Excel. If you open the template, you can see how easy it is to add the items from your own spreadsheet or system to the spreadsheet, and then you'll be able to upload this document directly to us and edit the items from there. If you prefer the manual method, you'll select the Add Box button. You're now ready to add the items for each box. Go to the appropriate box and select the Add slash Edit Items button. Next, you'll select the SKU that will be in the box and add the quantity. Note here that if the SKU is not already loaded into SmartFill, you'll need to do that first, as these must be pre-populated to select from. Then you'll select the Add Item button and continue the process until all the items that will be in the box are complete. Then you'll select the Done button. Notice that the box that you worked on is now reading Occupied. You can always go back and add, edit, or delete the box at any time before the shipment arrives. Continue the above process until all the boxes on this inbound shipment are completed by going to each empty box. Note, if you have the same items in, as far as SKUs and quantities in multiple boxes, you can speed up the process by selecting the Clone Box button. If you want to clone multiple boxes, simply enter the quantity you wish to clone. When you select the clone box, you'll notice that another box ID has been created with the items from the box that it was cloned from. Then you can add, edit, or delete items from a clone box. This can be a huge time saver if you have a large number of boxes that have the same items in them. Once your inbound shipment is completed, go to the top of the page and select the Print All Documents button. This will print out the packing slip for each box and the label will be placed on the outside of each box. That's it! You did it! Your inbound shipment's now ready to send us. Great job!